CDC Vital Signs Preventing Bloodstream Infections in People on Dialysis More than 800,000 people in the U.S. live with end-stage kidney disease. Some people with the disease have a kidney transplant. Most people receive dialysis treatments to filter and remove waste products and excess fluid from the body. Dialysis treatment puts patients at higher risk for serious infections because it requires frequent access to the bloodstream using needles or catheters, which are soft plastic tubes inserted into large veins. If germs get into a patient's blood, they can cause serious infections that may lead to complications and even death. Many germs can cause dialysis bloodstream infections. The most common is staph. Staph infections can be difficult to treat and may be deadly. There were more than 14,000 bloodstream infections in patients on dialysis in the U.S. in 2020, and more than one in three were caused by staph. The risk for staph infection can depend greatly on how a person's blood circulation is connected to the dialysis machine or vascular access type. There are three access types, fistula, graft, and central venous catheter. People with any access type can get an infection. Fistulas have the lowest risk of infection, and central venous catheters have the highest risk of infection. Staph bloodstream infections happen more often in black and Hispanic patients on dialysis than white patients on dialysis. Other factors besides race and ethnicity may be involved. There are more staph bloodstream infections in areas of the U.S. with higher poverty, more household crowding, and lower education levels. What can be done? To prevent bloodstream infections in people on dialysis, healthcare providers can use proven practices that help reduce infections. They can know the signs and symptoms of sepsis and act fast to treat it. And they can educate patients about treatments for end stage kidney disease, including kidney transplant and lower risk vascular access options such as fistulas and grafts. People can prevent chronic kidney disease by managing diabetes and high blood pressure. These conditions increase a person's risk of developing end stage kidney disease. People on dialysis can also clean their hands often to prevent the spread of germs and they can watch for signs of infection and its complications, like sepsis. For more information, please visit www.cdc.gov forward slash vital signs forward slash.